Hi Ashwarya. What happened? I've made my timetable for the tenth time, and I'm still not able to follow it. I think I'm just gonna give up. I don't think I can make a timetable by myself. Students, when we get serious about our academics, what is the first thing that we do? We tell ourselves that hey, it's time for me to make a timetable and make a study plan for myself so that it's high time that I start following it and so that I can reach my path to success. But ninety percent of the time, there is a very big roadblock the students face, and that is that they are not able to execute their timetable. Or sometimes there are students who may make some mistakes while making their timetable itself. So today I'm going to be answering a question that is there. I'm sure in most of your minds, ma'am, why is it that I'm not able to follow my timetable? Where am I going wrong? So today we're going to be talking about four mistakes that you might be doing knowingly or unknowingly, either while making your timetable or while actually following it. So I welcome you to Byju's Ninth and Tenth Grade Channel. My name is Ashwarya, and I'm going to help you out with this question. Now, of course, in order to understand what mistakes you might be making while making a timetable, you should first know how to make a timetable, right? And if you are a student who needs help with this, we have many videos that are already there on our channel that will help you out with the same. But here, our focus is to understand where you might be going wrong while making a timetable. So, what is the first thing that we do, or when is it that we actually make our timetable? So that comes certain days, right, where we feel like we've procrastinated a lot. We feel like you know we've not done anything productive. We feel very low on the inside, and then there's like this voice inside our mind that says, "Enough is enough. It's high time you start becoming productive." And there's like this surge of energy which goes all throughout your body, and that's when if you are lying down in your bed, you just wake up, you get your notebook, you decide that today is the day where I'm going to change my life, and that is the day when you start setting your plan. Now let's assume that you are somebody who makes a plan for the week. The energy is very high right now. Yes, you are very energetic to make your plan. You are very energetic to make your timetable. So when you make this timetable, when you have the surge of energy, or when you are very enthusiastic, you sometimes end up making a very hyper idealistic timetable. Now what do I mean by hyper idealistic? That means there are many scenarios that we don't take into consideration. So let me give you an example. So here I have Monday for for five days, but for one day, see the things that I have put on my column. In one hour, I will do my maths homework, followed by which I will have breakfast. Then after that, I will do physics chapter. I will complete one whole physics chapter in one hour, followed by which I will do one physics chapter. I mean one bio chapter in one hour. Now, first and foremost, I am very idealistic, right? That in one hour, I am hundred percent sure that I am going to execute. And secondly, I am not very specific in my timetable. Sometimes, when we are not specific enough, we don't know what do I mean by complete one chapter in biology. What is complete? Complete my reading. Complete making my notes. Complete doing my revision. Complete, you know, practicing questions. What is it that I am talking about? I am not clear. I am very vague at this point. But I have very high enthusiasm and energy, so I have decided to add everything possible. Now what happens is that in such timetables, it is very cramped, right? It's very, very cramped. There are so many things happening at the same time, and this is when you have a lot of energy. Now again, like I said, every day of your life is not going to be the same. There are going to be days when you feel a little lazy, which is normal. There are going to be days when you feel like you know there's a lot of extra homework, or you feel very stressed out. So your energy levels across your days vary. Which is why, if you don't take that into consideration while making your timetable, you'll end up having a very hyper idealistic timetable. And then what happens? You'll be like, "Mom, I can't follow this timetable. This is too much for me. I think I should start from scratch." That is what happens. Secondly, focus on this timetable. So all study, study, finish this, do that. A lot of tasks, right? A lot of chores. And whenever we make our to-do lists, we never really put our hobbies or things that actually give us a lot of joy. Now I'm not saying studying does not give you joy. Of course, studies and academics do give you joy, but your life needs to have a balance. You cannot be just holed up in your room, sitting there doing studying and always looking at your laptop or your textbook or your notebook. That alone is incomplete, right? And after one point, it might also demotivate you that you are only doing this, and sometimes you feel like, okay, ma'am, I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. So our to-do lists, more often than not, always include these things: only work, 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 work. And because of this, when there are no proper breaks given, no time given for our hobbies, we feel like, 
okay why should i follow this time table or this is when our motivation becomes low like oh i don't think it is going to happen so whenever you are making a time table include breaks which i know all of you do but i also request all of you to add in hobbies also into your time table if it means dancing singing if some of you go for dance classes or chess or whatever it is incorporate it in your time table so that you have a time dedicated to it now at the same time whenever you are making that time table you need to have flexibility in your time table now 90% of the time tables which are made by students this is where they struggle with the flexibility because you have told yourself that i will wake up at 6 o'clock okay you have told yourself by 6:30 i am going to start doing maths homework followed by with 7 o'clock i will finish now you have put hard deadlines for yourself now what if you didn't finish by 7 o'clock or what if you decided that by 1 pm i am going to have lunch what to 1:30 is my lunch break but what if lunch is not ready at home or you decided that between 2 to 3 pm is when i'm going to study but you have some relatives who came home and you have to visit them right or meet them so what are you going to do in all of these cases are you just going to decide that that is not a task i will do today because my relatives came home or because lunch was not ready no right there are things which happen at times which is not in your control so your time table should not be so rigid that it can you know that you are not able to change it because when it becomes very rigid and hyper idealistic that is also when sometimes we don't end up following it because there are multiple things that we have not factored in right so you need to make sure that your time tables are a little flexible so maybe if you feel like there's going to be a day where you don't know exactly when you will be able to do these tasks you know that today you have to finish maths homework you know you have to go for dance class and you know you have to do this but you are not very sure of when you will be able to do then don't tell yourself i will do it at 7 you see when you are able to do you try to find the time for that yes so allow one hour of flexibility every day so in your time table one hour or normally on the weekdays right on the weekdays give yourself one hour and on saturday and sunday give yourself maybe two hours of time and just put this time as flexible time so that you know that at any point if some task doesn't gets completed it will go into your one hour or two, two hours of your time and that way you will not get demotivated right that hey i did not complete the tasks that i set out to do and last but not the least is to be consistent see we are all human beings you are students see you are learning your way to become organized become productive follow tasks so this is a journey for you you will falter at some point but when you falter when you maybe stumble or maybe you don't complete certain things we get demotivated very fast and what happens we will stop we will be like i will not follow this time table i will go back to scratch and i'll start making my time table now that is a bad mistake that you make right because what happens is that at the end of the day you made the time table you put in the effort you have planned but maybe one day it didn't work out the way you thought it would right maybe monday tuesday was fine but wednesday did not go the way you thought and then thursday also you are like oh my wednesday became bad so thursday now i don't know if i should follow then you have demotivation and stress from the previous day which has come to the next day and now you are even more frustrated yes and at the end of the day now you will tell yourself okay ma'am wednesday and thursday are both gone now only friday is left what is there to do with friday next week next monday onwards i will become better no don't do that most of us 95% of the students have this mentality me as a student had this mentality right and something you have to change right you have to change this habit of yours tell yourself that okay i faltered on wednesday i faltered on thursday so okay i'm going to continue my plan from friday i will continue to set out what i planned because consistency is very important you have to be consistent as a student and it's not something that will just suddenly blossom inside you you have to practice and keep trying at it because consistency will help you in a long way so make sure that whenever you make a time table try to be consistent with it at least for two weeks you may falter in between but it's okay tell yourself it's fine i'm going to continue my plan from the next day yes and tell yourself that because that also gives you a lot of motivation so these are very small simple things that i discussed with you in this particular video but it can go a long way and if you found this helpful let me know in the comments of this video and let me know what else you want me to discuss so that i can help you and your student life become easier and better
So now, of course, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you are a new subscriber to the channel, this is, of course, the timetable that we follow on a weekly basis. We are very, very regular on the channel because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we help you out end to end with your academic and holistic development. And as always, by two times and ten has got you covered. So if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such updates. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. Up until next time, take care and bye bye.